We'll have all that and much more tonight, but first, our big story at 11. Just yesterday in that uh, area of the lake, it wasn't icy. A North Haven man's recovering in the hospital tonight after falling through the ice in Rogers Lake in Old Lyme. Meanwhile, another man did not survive that same fall. Thanks for joining us on Eyewitness News at 11. I'm Kevin Hogan. State police say the two men skated over the frozen lake right before screaming for help. Channel 3 Shante Passmore spoke to a man who described the harrowing scene. When you look at this picture tonight, it's amazing Larry Buell is alive. State police say the 61-year-old of North Haven hung on to dear life with ice and frigid water temperatures surrounding him. The area where they were <clears throat> was between 8 and 12 feet deep. So it was over their heads. Tom Johnston has lived off Rogers Lake for over 20 years. He watched firefighters from Old Lyme and Lyme and dive teams from state police and Guilford's fire rescue the man while searching for 59-year-old Harry Jewett of Old Lyme. I think what we were all concerned about, say, well, we got to get to that guy quickly before he just loses his uh, <coughs> consciousness. The large response came after a 911 call just after 3. State police say both men parked at Haynes Park, later skating over the frozen waters with hockey sticks and puck near Hickory Street and Avenue G. In moments, another neighbor heard a man calling for help. Crews used a canoe and safety ropes to bring Buell to safety. He suffered from hypothermia. Police say Jewett, however, was underwater for nearly an hour and later found and pronounced dead. First responders say the ice they fell through was probably an inch thick too thin to be on. The lake was mostly frozen over, say the greater percentage of it was frozen over, but in some spots it wasn't. Now Johnston, like officials, is warning people to be careful on any ice. In Old Lyme, Shante Passmore, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.